Welcome back, my fellow travelers. This is Make It Destination. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Amanda, and this is where I help you make it to your destination. If not, welcome back. This week, I'm excited to present to you how to pick a destination in 2021. I know this is gonna be the summer of all summers. Everybody wants to go somewhere now that the vaccine has been rolled out, and there are things reopening. Can you travel without a vaccine? Can you travel with the vaccine? I really wanna help y'all choose your destination. And this video was inspired by Condé Nast Travelers hot list for 2021 destinations. Looking through this, there are destinations that I wouldn't automatically choose. And I want to help you be able to open your mind up to different destinations that maybe you haven't thought of in the past. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. Okay, before we start this video, please hit the like button. Please comment and let me know where you're planning on going in summer 2021, even the fall of 2021. Hit subscribe, hit that notification bell because I know you don't wanna miss any of these good videos. I wanted this video to be mainly question based. So when you're choosing a destination, not only for 2021, but for any year, you have to ask yourself, the first question you have to ask yourself is, what vacation am I looking for? What type of vacation energy do I want? So this would include, do you want the vacation to be relaxing? Do you want it to be adventurous? Do you want it to be a mix of both? And once you answer this question, this is gonna cut down on some of the destinations maybe you thought of, right? Think about an environmental feature that you're looking for. Is it a classic beach vacation where you get to have fun on the beach, you get to have some good seafood, and it's very relaxing and a little bit adventurous, but not too much? Is it very adventurous where you're going to multiple national parks or exploring one national park and doing multiple hikes and camping and doing that sort of stuff? Is it more of a city vibe? Is it exploring a new city and the foods and the people and the culture and walking around and looking at museums and going shopping? I would try to envision some Thing that you want from the vacation. This is very important because again, it's going to narrow down your choices, right? A beach vacation is completely different than a city vacation. And don't think you have to just choose one. You can blend the two. When Sam and I went to Las Vegas, we also went to Zion National Park and Bryce Canyon National Park. You can split up your trip to be half adventurous and half relaxing. If you can afford to, and if you have the availability of a rental car or maybe another smaller flight. So just remember, you don't have to just choose one and decide to give up on another part of your trip that you wanted to include. That gets us into the second question that you have to ask yourself when choosing a destination. So let's get into that second part. So the second question that you have to ask yourself when choosing a destination is, what is my budget? What am I comfortable spending? Because more, most likely, like more likely than not, an international trip to Europe is going to be way more expensive than a US domestic trip to say somewhere in Florida, somewhere in Texas, California, and so on and so forth. This is very dependent on the vacation type and vibe you're looking for. That's why I say you have to ask yourself that question first because doing nature-based activities and going to national parks and camping, doing hikes is most likely going to be cheaper than going to museums, going shopping, going to nightclubs, going to bars. It's going to be cheaper to do nature-based activities rather than a city vibe vacation where you're more likely to have to spend money. So you have to come up with a general range. I always say a range is better than just a static number that you feel comfortable with because you know it varies from season to season, it varies from year to year. So you have to keep that in mind. Also ask yourself, do you wanna go on a trip that requires airfare? Because a lot of the time, flights are very expensive. If you watch my what's my travel budget video, I said that airfare usually takes up, you know, a third if not 40% of your travel budget if you don't have a rewards card or you don't have a family member working for an airline. So just remember when you're doing your budget that travel, even just to get there, not just, you know, where, when you're at the destination, but to get to your destination, it's going to take some money. So if you're doing a road trip, that's most likely less expensive. But remember right now we're going through a gas shortage. So prices are being affected right now. So again, it might not be cheaper to do a road trip. So just keep that in mind. Another thing I would ask myself is with the budget, you know, try to see if you could do a blend of activities. There are always free activities that you could do, whether it's people watching, exploring a park, going on a walk. 
you don't have to do all these activities that require money. I think a lot of people forget that on vacation. There are some hotels that have pools that you could just automatically go to. Not every activity that you put into your itinerary has to have a dollar sign next to it. And lastly, this it pertains to 2021 in general. When you are picking your, a destination, make sure that you remember this is going to be the summer of all summers. Hotel prices are going to be jacked up. Airline fees are going to be jacked up. Everybody is traveling and the travel industry knows this. Remember, there were losses last year. Airlines weren't doing too well. Hotels weren't doing too well. The tourism industry obviously wasn't doing too well. So now they're trying to make their money back and with an increased demand, obviously the price goes up. Maybe a trip to Florida isn't going to be as cheap as you originally thought it was going to be. So just make sure you think about this before you pick a destination in 2021. And if price is really a significant factor to you, maybe you would want to save it for 2022. Again, I know we all are itching to travel. We all want to go outside, but patience is key in these times. You know, this isn't going to last forever. Again, the price surge isn't going to last forever. So let's get into our third question you should ask yourself and make sure you watch the whole video because we're going to go through my recommendations about where you should go in 2021. Our third, and honestly, I would say this is an underrated question, but it's a question you have to ask yourself when picking a destination, and that's who are you traveling with? And this really does influence what you're going to do. What you do on a family trip, if you have small children compared to a girl's trip, are going to be completely different. And that really does influence the destination you're going to choose, right? So maybe a family with a few kids is going to choose Disney World or Disneyland, maybe somewhere with an amusement park, somewhere with other kids. Whereas maybe a couple or a girl's trip is going to go to Las Vegas, maybe go to specific parts of Miami, go to couples only all inclusive resorts. The activities change based on who you're traveling with. And I did say this in my last video for my self care video. And that is make sure you vocalize what you want to do, especially on big group trips. I know a lot of people try to, you know, go with the flow and let their wants and needs go to the wayside, but make sure if you're spending your hard-earned money on a vacation that you are actually doing what you want to do. Yes, there's always going to be compromise, but make sure that you're at least doing one or two of the five activities you wanted to do. On any vacation, it's very difficult to pack a slew of activities into a small time period, but if you get to do one or two of the activities you wanted to do, I think that's a successful trip. Now, with 2021, it seems, you know, a lot of weddings are back on. So there's been a lot of, you know, bachelorette parties, a lot of bachelor parties. Um, families want to get out of the house and maybe do things together. or People want to reunite. This is extremely important to think about when you are choosing a destination because you want to think about convenience for everybody. You know, not everybody might live in the same vicinity. So just the convenience factor. Again, affordability. And then also, again, like the activities I said, you know, some people like warmer climates, some people like cooler climates, some people are comfortable right now traveling internationally, some people are not. And then we ha do have conflicting views about the vaccine at the moment. So just make sure you talk to the group members who you're traveling with and see what you can do or where you could go based on everybody's wants, needs, and whether they are vaccinated or not. So those are my questions that you should ask yourself when picking a destination, especially in 2021. And now we're gonna get into my recommendations based on the trips that I think people are gonna to wanna to take. So let's get into that part. Now it's time for my favorite part of the video, which are my recommendations. Remember, it's a biased view because it's coming from me. If there are places that you think I missed, let me know in the comments and let me know where you're gonna go in 2021. So if you're looking for a classic East Coast beach vacation trip, which I think is gonna be extremely popular this summer, I think Rhode Island would be a great place to go, Myrtle Beach, Ocean City and Wildwood, New Jersey. I think these places are gonna be extremely popular. Oh, also Cape Cod. Just because people wanna get away. You know, this is the year of, in my opinion, recovery in the United States from the pandemic. And people just wanna go and have fun with their families, their significant others, their friends on a nice, 
beach and I think this is extremely affordable because it is on the east coast and because it might be close to you again I'm in upstate New York so these places are only a drive away I think if you're looking for a beach vacation where you don't have to take a plane somewhere I think all of these options are great you know some offer a boardwalk some of them don't so make sure you look at the activities I personally have a sweet spot for Rhode Island but you all know that I love Narragansett Beach there is no boardwalk but I feel like it's the cleanest most fun beach that I've been to on the East Coast but I know people love Myrtle Beach people love Ocean City and so on and so forth so if you're looking for that kind of vacation I would definitely go that route if you're looking for more of an adventurous trip out west I would definitely recommend Yellowstone Yosemite Glacier National Park, Zion, Bryce Canyon. I think all of these are gonna be extremely popular. I think either Yellowstone or Yosemite was reservation only for summer of 2021 and it's sold out in a few minutes. So make sure you do your research on whether the park is doing a reservation system or whether you could just you know go and, and pay a fee in the morning. But I think this would be an awesome time to go back in nature and just look at the world around you and just take in all of the awesome environmental features that the US has to offer. And again, for some people this may be drivable, for others they're gonna have to take a plane. So this is, I would say, more costly if you have to take a plane, but I think once you get there and you go to a national park, the activities aren't too expensive. So I would definitely recommend going to a national park this summer if you're looking for more of an adventurous trip. Another vacation type that I think is going to be extremely popular in 2021 is a mix of relaxation and adventure. I think people are very eager to explore a place, but they also want to relax and rejuvenate. So if you're looking for a mix of relaxation and southern adventure, I definitely think you should go down south. I, I've heard it's a lot of fun. I haven't been in a while and there's still many parts of the south I still have to explore. But I would say if you're comfortable with the lack of regulation in Texas, I would say go to Austin, Texas. I heard, you know, the live music scene is cool. The food is delicious. The people are very friendly. Also, Nashville, Tennessee might be a cool place to check out. And I know um, Asheville and Savannah and also Charleston are United States like favorite destinations, at least in travel and leisure. They always say, you know, Savannah, Georgia is one of the top towns or cities people like to explore. So you get a little bit of history, you get some shopping, maybe you get a touch of the beach, but you also get good Southern barbecue. And I think all around a vacation to any of these destinations destinations down south will give you a nice well-rounded trip. You'll feel very relaxed. You could go to a spa, you could go to a beach, or um, I know Austin has swimming holes just to cool off. And then you could go out at night and listen to live music, go to the club, so on and so forth. So I think those would be an awesome place to go if you're looking for adventure and relaxation. And then lastly, I know trips to party it up are gonna be extremely popular, especially for young people. Some of the cities I think you should flock to if you're looking for a party. Las Vegas, Miami, New Orleans, and Los Angeles. These are cities, some I've been to, some I haven't. I know Travel and Leisure has published a few articles where there are some Caesars Palace resorts in Las Vegas that are already sold out for multiple weekends in the summer. I know in Nevada, they just said you could have 100% capacity in casinos. If you're vaccinated or you feel comfortable with that, I would definitely say book your Las Vegas trip as soon as possible. Prices have increased both for flights and hotels. So I would say the sooner that you book it, maybe the more affordable it'll be for you. Miami's going, going to be extremely popular. You already saw with spring break, they had to, you know, literally close clubs and restaurants down early and implement a curfew because it was that popular. Los Angeles, that's a different sort of party city. But I know Governor Newsom wants to relax some of the restrictions because a lot of the things in California you could do outside, which is deemed safer than indoor activities. So that would be a cool place to go if you've never been to Los Angeles. New Orleans, I've always heard great things about. You could have some, you know, good old uh, Cajun cuisine. You could have some po' boys. You could drink in the French Quarter. I'm honestly not sure how the restrictions there work, but I think that would be an awesome trip if you've always wanted to go to New Orleans to go in the summer of all summers. These party cities most likely are going to be at full capacity and also sold out. So this is gonna affect the price. So if price is a worry for you, I would maybe wait until 2022 or even the fall when people go back to school. So overall, I hope this helped you choose a destination. 
this was a really fun video for me to do because I'm even having trouble deciding where I should go, what type of vacation I want for the summer. And I just hope that asking yourself these questions really helps you decide where to go. Again, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I know you don't want to miss any of my content. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when my videos are uploaded. And again, let me know in the comments where you're going in uh, 2021. And thank you for watching.